So this tweet is wild, but it is Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. Also, probably why I don't play Magic the Gathering anymore. It's just not the, uh, I, I mean, interestingly enough, as inclusive as they want to be, I feel like it's just not for me, as Mero would say. So we have this tweet, nothing to do with Dylan, so not quoting him, and I am obviously am not local, so cannot speak on this scene, but there is something to say about how disheartening it is to look at this picture and see a room with seemingly no women. So Dylan is playing, this looks like EDH is really, really healthy. He gives a good tournament account. Looks like uh, his local game store has a lot of players. Now, not only are most of these individuals white, most of these individuals are also not minorities. In fact, let me take a close look at this picture. I mean, there there's some African Americans. Uh, I don't see any Asians. Uh, could be somebody from the Middle East. Uh, the majority of them are white males, which I assume they are white cis males. This looks like a fun time, guys. This looks like a fun time, just a bunch of people hanging out, sharing a hobby they love together. And then Twitter happens. <laughs> then you get a non-binary, and this is confirmed, this person is non-binary, trans individual. And they just kind of come in here and they say the wildest things, like, why are there no one? You know, I, I don't see a sign that says no woman. I think that is a choice by the non-binary not to play in this particular atmosphere. Maybe they feel like it's not uh, something they want to do. Uh, this is my point. This has been my entire point for the last 10 years of this channel. When I played, this is my playgroup. Like this is ki kind of what a playgroup looks like. Uh, now, I, at no point in time did we play EDH this aggressively, but during during pre-release, uh, we had 100 people, 100, maybe more, 100 plus people, and surprising no one, there are no female players when we did pre-release, because when we were doing pre-release, Return to Ravnica, it was at midnight, so to ask a female player to play at midnight, or to ask any player, to, it's more of a, you know, a, a something that, uh, it's smelly, it's dirty, it's ranched, it's people farting all the time, uh, it's butt cracks, right, with no belt. They're not going to want to do it, man. They, they, <laughs> they're not going to want to do it. If you have a girlfriend or a wife or significant other, I'm pretty sure that the last place she wants to visit, assuming she has, like, non-magic hobbies. So here we see the tweet, nothing to do with Dylan, so not quoting him, and I'm obviously, I'm not low. No, you have nothing to say about this, dude. Like, or, no, oh, God, I offended that person. You have nothing to say about this non-binary. Like, you have nothing to say. Why are you trying to, you know why they do this? They do it because they are always offended, and they, the more offended someone becomes, the more tw uh, likes, and it's all about these, like, clicks metrics where, I don't think these people, I don't think a lot of the people on Twitter, when I mean these people, I mean Twitter people, uh, actually play Magic. Uh, to be quite frank with you, I'm almost certain they do not. They love talking about how Magic is very undiverse and, you know, guys and playing Magic. They, they love talking about how Magic sucks and this and that, but they don't actually play Magic. Okay, let me repeat this again. They do not play Magic. How do I know they do not play Magic? Because I've been playing Magic since beta. And the type of people I've met who played Magic through my journey. Now, you might be like, oh, you're... Re no, I owned a store just uh, a few years ago. Three, four years. I know who plays this game. and I know who pretends online. Uh, let me tell you another story about um, the two type of majority of players. So the uh, biggest Facebook group is moderated by a individual who thinks that going in a bathtub nude and having some basic mountains on her uh, private parts is content that the family can enjoy. And she's posted this, and of course there's a link to, you guessed it, OnlyFans. That shit did not even exist when I was playing Magic as a kid. There wasn't any OnlyFans. There was no women, trans, non-binary individuals trying to ask for donations to live their lives. And again, hey, that's not my problem. That's 
their decision and I respect it, you know, because if I do not respect it, I would be canceled. So there, there are a lot of things I look at and I say, huh, that's very different than when I was playing Magic. And this is what, this is not different. Magic as a player base will always look like this, no matter how much. We, we talk about uh, Black, in my um, Black Myth Wukong and how the, because they're Chinese developers, they just go, said social justice will go after yourself. We don't give a damn. And they're the number one selling game. And then you have Concourse from Sony. They spent $200 million on it. Got a player base of like 20 people and they're all paid. And you got developers saying, hey, I worked really hard on this. Can somebody play this game? Man, no one wants that shit, man. Like when you make a game for, you know, who is attracted to Magic the Gathering? If you make a game and the game is no longer fun for the people who want to play the card game, and you, your your audience is literally people on Twitter who have never played Magic, but they sure as hell complain about Magic. And oh, link to the OnlyFans, by the way. I think Magic on Twitter is like two types of people. One, trying to promote their OnlyFans. You know who I mean. You see them all the time, and it's just such a headache. You know, it's like such a mother effing headache. A, I don't even think they're that attractive. I think if they if they didn't have Magic. So for uh, magic, and so if they didn't say, oh, I'm a magic player, look at me in the bathtub of these basic land, and they were to compete against the top models in OnlyFans, they would get blown away, man. Um, there are much more beautiful women on OnlyFans than magic content creators, right? I think they go to magic because like, oh, these guys are nerds and they're ugly, so they'll give me money for sure. So they want to be niche. And then this is not different. This is just marketing 101, right? If you're not the most beautiful person on OnlyFans, well, you can try to niche yourself out and try to attach yourself to a, a group, uh, and then you no, know, with your basic lands, <laughs> you know these are not effing dual lands. Or like I would have more respect, right, if they were in these bathtubs and they were like sitting with black lotuses and dual lands. I'd be like, oh right, at least they you know invested a little bit into it. Probably fake cards, but at least they understand what card is good. But they just a basic land, man. I mean, what what what, what, what? <laughs> At, in, at no point in time did I believe that these individuals were actually Magic players. Because at no point in time did they actually do anything that re resembled playing Magic. Right? Like, how is putting land on your private parts, uh, what, what part of Magic is that? You know, <laughs> I played Magic since I was a kid. I've never seen something like that before. Until recently. And now they hate on this and... Yikes, man. I mean, it is just, uh, these are just dudes having fun. That's what magic is.